I just I just like being her own these days. What did you say? That you could switch to the enemy first for you. I think uh, questions for Lawrence and Marshall first, please, and then we'll move on with the coach. Uh, Lawrence, the last minute, what was the plan uh, for you guys on offense? Uh, basically, just go through the post for Marshall, get a quick post test, see if he's throwing anything, not just bring it out, go to screen and roll. Don't tell him the whole thing, boy. Do you sense there's some openings there? I mean, can you describe those a little bit? Well, come up, well, come down the stretch, uh, I realized I, I told myself I had to come alive, so when you start going to the screen and roll, I see a little openings there, just tap the basket. Were you guys trying to get a two for one on that uh, with 40 seconds left or whatever? Where, where you scored on that little curl, or was that not, not necessarily? I don't think they know what two for one is. We never talk about it. No, it wasn't. We wanted to. We wanted to go quick. We didn't want to wait around, but we weren't necessarily going for a two for one. Uh, like I said, we don't really practice that. We have, take care of your offensive possessions. Take care of your defensive possessions. These guys got enough going through their mind without them worrying about how much time is on the clock. That's too much CBA stuff for you over here. <laughs> My bad. It's high no, level. No, no, high, no. Real high. We're real high level down. We, we, we probably should have done it. I don't know if we had enough time. It was like when the 40 seconds. Yeah. But it's hard to get a good shot off full court in five. So I don't think we could have done it anyway. But it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have played in our play. We knew what we wanted to run. And score time didn't make a whole lot of difference. We knew we needed to try to score that possession. Uh, Marshall, the um, uh, give me a sense of the atmosphere when you felt like in the second half. No, it was, it was awesome. Um, I think some of us are maybe without the students here, wasn't going to be the same atmosphere, but it's been, it was just as good as it has been the last couple of years I've been here. And hopefully, hopefully it's like that the rest of you too. It's been nice. Marshall, talk about your quick start in the first half. What do you think the reason was behind it? Yeah. Um, that's just what we're trying to do, I think, is get me to be more aggressive. And uh, my, my teammates have been giving me the ball quite often and um, let me go to work. And that's kind of, that's kind of how that happened. And, um, I think I got a little pass there at the end of the first half, which is where we, we kind of started to struggle. But um, no, it's my teammates getting me the ball, and um, we just going to work here, yes. And you finished eight for eight. And Fegans are you know one of the better post defenders in the league. What um, was there something you felt especially that was working? Um, it, it's kind of in the post. You got to take what's what's given to you. Um, he's like you said, he's a he's a very good post player. But um, I think I, I seen some moves that were there, and I just I guess I took advantage of them. Uh, free throw shooting wasn't exactly. Um, <laughs> oh, that's for sure. Um, that's something I have to work on. You guys surprised by that? You, you've been pretty good this year as a team. Yeah, I, I don't know what we ranked nationally coming in, but it had to be pretty. Seventy-five percent usually puts you pretty high nationally, and that's what we were coming in. I. Shot. We haven't hit children. I don't know if Taylor Braun's missed three free throws in a row since he's been on campus, period. Yeah. Uh, Lawrence, uh, you guys know what they're going to do, and it's going to run through Walters. Um, when, you're, when you have that chance to sort of go head to head or one on one with him, and you know he's going to take and, and you know, often make shots late, um, is that you know, kind of a, a nice situation for you? You know I mean? Do you kind of feel that sense of, all right? You know, I got to an answer here, or I can answer, and make him play some defense and stuff too. Yeah, I kind of say that. Um, he's one of probably one of the top guards in the league, one of the uh, league guards in the league. So it's uh, going to head to head and coming out the, uh, the positive is letting them, let me know that it's only really I'm also one of the league guards in the league. So just having an opportunity, but it's, it's a good one. Um, my last question for Marshall: Is this a huge victory, big victory? How do you term this? Um. Like Coach says, it, it counts just as much as any other team that we that we play in the, in the Summit League. So um, it's obviously it, it is always a little extra energy in the gym, but at the end of the year, it counts as a win uh, in the Summit League for the standing. So. You guys got some for me? No? A couple I, things. I yapped yeah. enough. Okay. No, got, go ahead. Uh, I bought a t-shirt out in California in October when I took my family out there. It was an I Love LA t-shirt, and I'm wearing it all day tomorrow. <laughs> uh, he, he was a... Uh, if you know him as a kid, uh, we, we listen, 
Walters gets a lot of credit, and he should. He's unbelievable. He's a great player. Uh, terrific. As good as you're going to get in this league. LA's pretty good, too. And he, he's a competitor. And he made a lot of plays down the stretch. We missed a lot of free throws down the stretch. LA didn't. Uh, and late in the game, to different points in the game, we tried to go through Marshall the entire game. Uh, Taylor came out in the second half and really gave us a nice boost. But at the very end of the game, I thought LA made enough plays uh, to kind of get us over the top. And that's what you like to see on your point guard. Questions? So this is a kind of a weird question. I apologize for a second weird question. Um, but uh, <laughs> no, that was, the first one wasn't weird. I was uh, just uh, saying we don't. Sorry. We're not smart enough to yeah, put that in. Those metrics. Uh, yeah, tonight, your students aren't here. Uh, they're going to go to Vermillion and have the same situation. Um, just your thoughts on, I don't know, it, maybe it's really hard for the league to schedule around that, take into account rivalries. and that. And you obviously have to play games over Christmas break, but just, just your thoughts on that, that situation this year. Well, it's first of all, the, the crowd that was here was unbelievable. I mean, that, that was a rocket atmosphere. Our, our football team was here. That, that a, a big chunk of our student body physically was here. Uh, Coach Bowler, whole, the whole squad was here. So I like to thank the people that were here, that our students that were here were, were terrific, but I think that a lot of our more experienced fans acted like students tonight a little bit and picked up some of the slack. Now that being said, absolutely dead on, you're right. Uh, one of the great things about going to college uh, for a lot of people is the ability to attend sporting events uh, at their university for very little money and to jump around and be able to act like however they want, uh, let off some steam. And for our students not to be able to, to do that in this atmosphere tonight, I mean, I can't even imagine what the decibel meter would have been had they been going right away. But uh, yeah, we have, we have a lot of students that, that pay tuition to go to school here and didn't get to see a, a terrific basketball game. With the bracket buster disappearing, you know, maybe that, that changed, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's regrettable. Every conference has some of that. It's, it's regrettable when it's uh, a team that people circle on, on their schedule and they don't get to see that one. But again, I'll tell you what, my ears are ringing. That was loud in there tonight. That was, our fans were terrific.